What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to check out the other add-on that was created by Adobe when they joined the development fund for Blender. This add-on allows you to import Mixamo characters and animations into Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so first things first, Mixamo is a library of animated 3D characters that you can download and bring into your 3D models. So you can download all of these for free. Um, you are going to have to have a free Adobe account in order to do that, but you can definitely download all of these. And so there's an option on the Mixmo page for a bunch of different character files, which you can download and bring into your models, as well as an animations tab, which contains a number of different like motion captured animations um, that you can use as well. So you can see how as I scroll through this, there's a bunch of different animations you can apply, a bunch of different models you can download, things like that. Well, Adobe has released an add-on that makes importing these into Blender really easy. So I will link to this in the notes down below so that you can get to this page. But basically what you need to do is you just need to go to this page and you need to click on the button for get the add-on. That's going to allow you to download the file so you can install it in Blender. Uh, note that there's a couple really helpful tutorials on this page. So when you scroll down, you can watch these in order to figure out how things kind to work. So if you do need some more information, you can definitely get that from this page. So you're going to download the add-on, you're going to install it through your preferences in add-ons. Just make sure that you've checked the box for animation Mixamo rig after you've downloaded this to make sure that it's enabled. So then when you tap the N key and get the side menu over here, there's going to be a tab for Mixamo. So let's go ahead and let's download a model. And so I kind of like the ninja model, so I thought we could download that one. So I'm just going to click on this, click on the button for use this character. And I'm going to bring it in with an animation applied. So let's just pick an animation. So in this case, maybe I'll just go with this defeated animation right here. So it's where the character just kind of stands there and throws their arms out. So what we want to do is we want to click on the button for download. And we're going to download the FBX binary file, that first option, and then we, in this case we want to download that with the skin because we want it to bring the model in. Um, 30 frames per second is fine, and then we can just click on the button for download. And so when you click on the button for download, that's going to download this file. And I think this file is going to be something like 50 megabytes or something like that. It won't take a super long time to download, but um, that's kind of what we want to download. So now, let's import that file into Blender. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to import the model. So that doesn't have anything to do with the add-on, you're just importing the FBX file. So we're just going to go to File, Import, FBX, and you're going to go into the folder and find the model that you downloaded. In this case for me, it was the one called Defeated FBX. So I'm just going to double click on this right here and that's going to bring this into your model. And so the cool thing about this, and I'm going to move my Bonnie model out of the way. So the cool thing with this is it comes in with a rig as well as your model right here. And that animation already comes baked in. So you can see if I drag this slider this way, then that animation is going to be applied to this. But for now, what we want to do is we want to create a control rig for this character so that we can adjust the character. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to select your character right here, and you want to give it a source skeleton. In this case, that's going to be the armature right here. So now we've given it a source skeleton right here. And what we want to do is now we want to click on the button for create control rig. It's going to give you options for apply animation. So if there's an animation file, it's going to apply that to the rig. Um, it's also going to give you IK arms and IK legs. Let's actually uncheck the box for apply animation real quick. We're going to click on OK. And so what that's going to do is that's going to come in here and that's actually going to create a control rig that you can use in order to adjust this model. So what we're going to do is we're just going to jump into pose mode right here and just take a look at this. So notice how when you move these different parts and pieces around, um, this has applied that IK rigging to this. So you can actually use this to adjust um, every, every little thing about this model. So for example, notice how if I move this down, the model's legs are automatically going to bend. There's also options down below for a lot of different things you can do with the feet. So for example, you can move the feet forward, you can kind of rotate these, Notice how the knee is kind of linked in there. So it's a very sophisticated control rig that you can use in order to adjust this character. And so you can use that in order to pose your character. So in addition, you can also import animation files um, to the control rig in order to animate this. So for example, let's go back to Mixmo for a second. 
And so let's say we wanted to import the hip hop dancing animation to our model. So you can see how when I click on this, it's showing you this previewed with our, uh, with our model right here. What we wanna do in this case is we wanna click on the button for download, but we wanna download the FBX binary without the skin because we already have the skin in our model. So we're gonna click on download right here and I'm just gonna place that animation in my folder where I'm storing my model. And so now what I wanna do is I just wanna import that FBX file. So I'm just gonna do a file import FBX and then we're just gonna pick the hip hop dancing FBX. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on import FBX. So you can see how what that does is that imports a rig that has that animation applied to it. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna apply that animation to my control rig right here. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna select our control rig right here. We're gonna change our source skeleton to this skeleton right here, the armature 001. So I'm just gonna uncheck this box and I'm just gonna use the eyedropper in order to select that. So I'm just gonna click right here. Well now, all we have to do is just click on the button for apply animation to control rig and that's gonna apply this to our model. Well now, if you click play like this, this model is gonna have that animation applied to it. So you can use this to download different animations. So for example, let's say you didn't want this one anymore. You could just zero out your rig like this and then you could import a different animation. So we're gonna go back into object mode and I'm gonna drop this rig out and I'm just gonna import a different one. So another one that I've downloaded from, from Mixamo. So I'm gonna take this one and we can just do the same thing where we just wanna set our control rig source skeleton, in this case to armature 002, then just click on apply animation to control rig. So you can see how you can use this in order to apply those animations to your control rig really quickly. And so one thing I don't know is if you can create any kind of like library of these movements inside of this file. Um, that's something that I'm not really 100% sure about if there's a way you can save those in here or if you just need to take the animations and save them as separate Blender files. I'd love to get somebody's opinion on that because I don't quite know the answer. But overall, the ability to bring these models in and link the animations to them is a really awesome addition to Blender. So I have a link to a couple other videos about Adobe joining the development fund as well as the Substance add-on that they released, but I'd love to hear from you what you think about all these new developments. Um, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. That link should be on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.